Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. Love new crafting friends. So if you're not already following along, we would love to have you here. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today I'm going to show you how to create crackle paint just with plain ordinary school glue. Simple easy technique and it creates a fabulous rustic chippy look on your projects and takes it to the next level. Um, about a year ago I did a video on this technique and for some reason I'm not sure what happened but the last little bit some of the clips have gone missing in some of the audio so it's kind of got messed up a little bit. I'm going to take that one down and I'm going to repost this one because it's a fantastic technique and if you guys haven't tried it, I want you to try it out. So today, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create crackle paint with school glue. Let's get at it. I'm going to make a farmhouse theme sign just on this scrap piece of wood. The first thing that I'm going to do is paint it with some black chalk paint and that's going to be the base of my sign. And it's going to take two coats and I'm doing the black underneath because that's what you want to show through when you do the crackle. Whatever color you use as your base is what will show through on the crackles underneath your white paint. I'll put a link down below in the description for my favorite chalk paint recipe. Now the magic potion to this technique is school glue. You don't need to use Elmer's. You can use any type of school glue. Anything from the dollar store will work. And you just wanna pour a liberal amount over your whole project. I'm getting to the bottom of this one, so I'm just kind of pouring it right onto the sign. And how thick you put it on will determine how big your crackles are. If you put a thin coat, you'll have thin crackles. A thick coat, you will have really thick crackles. Once you have all your glue down, you're just going to spread it out over your whole surface and then once it's sat for about a minute you want to let it just get a little bit tacky you're going to get whatever color top coat you want i'm using my white chalk paint and the trick to this technique working the best is to do long strokes and you don't want to work with it too much i just try to go back and forth maybe three times at the most and then move on to the next section. If you work the paint into the glue too much, you won't have any crackling. So what's gonna happen as that glue dries, that crackle is gonna form and you're gonna start to see that black paint underneath show through and giving that crackling effect. I just love this technique because it can take a project or a brand new piece of wood and make it look old and antique and vintage in a couple easy steps. Now after you finish that coat, you don't want to go back and put another coat on because that will affect the crackle. We're just going to leave it now and let it dry and work its magic. And you can see as it's starting to dry, all the little crackles are starting to show through and creating this fabulous texture on this wood. I love using this technique for the base of my farmhouse signs. Um, and sometimes I'll even layer two or three different colors to get them to peek through with the crackle. It's fun, you just kind of fool around with it, see how it works for you, and then use it on some of your projects. And you don't have to use chalk paint for this technique. You can use latex or acrylic. It all works and it'll all crackle beautifully. Okay, everything is completely dried and I'm gonna turn this into a fabulous farmhouse sign. This is one of my favorite graphics. I'm gonna use my Mod Podge mat. If you've been following along, you know this is one of my favorite techniques to transfer graphics onto my signs. You just put a light coat over all of the graphics. Make sure you reverse your text print it off on regular computer paper, let it sit overnight, you're gonna dampen the paper, and then rub off all the paper and the graphics are left on your sign. I'll put a link down below in the description for a full tutorial that goes into much more depth to do this technique. All finished and I love the crackle background on this sign. This graphic is available in my Etsy store if you wanna grab it and try out this project for yourself. Make sure you use the code SAVE50 because you'll get 50% off all the graphics in my Etsy store. They're already reversed so you can use them right away for your project and download them right to your computer and print at home. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this sign or if you've ever tried this technique on any of your projects. 
And if you haven't tried it, get that stash of school glue out and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.